Hello guys, in this video here I will be changing the rear rotors and brake pads on this Saab 93 new generation and to start off I blocked off uh, three of the wheels with some wooden blocks because we can't use the parking brake when doing this job. Then I check up the car and as you can see here is the caliper and it is mounted to the car with two bolts uh, and to start it off you have these two gliding bolts that have some end caps on there that I will take a look at later but first let's remove this spring here with screwdriver it can be rusted in place but it's fairly easy to get off and then we get to the gliding bolts for the calipers you have those two end caps there uh, to keep all of the grease in you just remove them to expose the 7mm allen uh, keys that you see there I just use a T55 bit because that works uh, also but I would recommend using allen key and then you can see the brake pads are freed and you can take those off as, off as well so I got pretty far in just half an hour uh, it's those two bolts that hold like the caliper slider thing in place and those are pretty hard to get off I think that you need some torque on it of course you could use some regular but since they are not like the reversed uh, torx screws I don't really want to strip those bolts so I'm gonna buy some uh, uh, of those inserts or whatever they are called I don't remember and also maybe try to get some wrenches because the top bolt there seemed to be fairly there wasn't really a room for putting a wrench on there so we have to see what I do about that so I bought a little bit different stuff we see uh, like a torque wrench not a torque wrench but a breaker bar here probably useful for those tight bolts a set of pipes or the e-torque pipes with that and also some spanners or whatever they are called and also some extensions here so in total i think those tools costed me around 80 dollars so everything of course is adding up at this point but all of these tools are really useful for us sub owners if you are ever going to work on your car at a later date you are probably going to have to use these tools either way so in the long run it's a good investment so with the breaker bar it was fairly easy to get both of the torque screws out for the bracket and there was a lot of thread locks on those screws so it will take some time especially if you don't have a ratcheting mechanism on your breaker bar when everything is freed you can take off the rotor with the t20 and uh, do everything in the reverse process that you just did. I put the rotor back on, some anti-seize on the holder screw there and here you can also see one of the torque screws got a little bit more of damage so I will put that in the lowest position the next time because of that top bolt there you can't really get the sockets to fit properly. And then I would recommend using a brake push tool for the calipers because this needs to be spinned back in place. Then you put back uh, the pads and I also recommend putting some anti-seize on there and also you need to mount the pads with the spring on the inner side on the holder there. And then we also just lube up the gliding bolts here and insert them back to place. Then as I said you just mount everything back up in the reverse process. Just don't forget to lube up and put on some anti-seize because that will uh, help the caliper get some even wear on the brake pads and rotors. As you can see on my face I have worked on the car and I am now finished with both rear brakes and uh, I'm not sure if you need to bed them in, but I'm going to do some light bedding on them and 
just going from 80 kilometers or 100 to like 80 or 50 just to set the pads and the rotors a little bit and hopefully everything will be okay and if I've done anything wrong please tell me in the comments but I think that I got most of the steps right this time and uh, and I actually used around one and a half hours per side. So it wasn't really a long job either. So if you need to do your brakes, uh, I could recommend doing it on your own if you are comfortable working a little bit on your car. So everything seems to be fine. They are working well and the disc seems to be evenly braked in and uh, yeah i don't really have any problems at the moment and uh, this here is will be approved so soon this car will be road legal for two years to come as well